Did you know that there's a tropical plant that some people believe may hold a key to health and longevity? That plant is the leaf of life. I'm Dr. Erica Park, and in this video, I'll share the history and science behind this amazing plant, along with tips on how to grow it right at home. Leaf of Life, which has the scientific name Calancho Pinata, is known by many other names, including Miracle Leaf, Wonder of the World, Resurrection Plant, and Never Die. It is indigenous to Madagascar, and from there it spread across other parts of the world, including throughout Africa, Asia, and eventually the Caribbean through trade and migration. The Leaf of Life has been used in traditional medicine for hundreds of years in many countries. It is sometimes brewed as a tea for coughs, colds, fevers, and other respiratory conditions. The fresh leaves are also crushed and applied directly to cuts, insect bites, or swollen skin to support healing. And in many traditions, people have turned to Leaf of Life to help manage high blood pressure and diabetes. When looking at this information, I found it intriguing. So as a physician, I want to be able to do a deeper dive into the science behind it to learn what's actually inside this plant that has been used for health for generations. The research is fascinating. It shows that Leaf of Life contains natural plant compounds, what we call phytonutrients, that may explain some of its healing effects. This includes flavonoids, which are antioxidants that help calm inflammation and protect our cells. It also has phenolic compounds, which can shield the body from oxidative stress. And then there are tryptopenes, which research has linked to wound healing. Together, these natural compounds are part of what gives Leaf of Life its reputation for antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory effects, and why scientists today are studying it much more closely. So I'm gonna share a few recent studies that caught my attention. To start, in 2024, a study published in BMC Complementary Medicine and Therapies found that Leaf of Life extracts could slow the growth of cervical cancer cells in the lab. Also in 2024, Research in the Journal of Bioscientists and Medicines showed that Leaf of Life extracts have anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties, backing up its traditional use for wounds and infections. And in 2021, a study published in the Journal of Phytopharmacology tested Leaf of Life extract in rats with high blood pressure. The researchers found it helped relax blood vessels and lower blood pressure in this animal model. Now it's important to note that most of these studies have been done in labs or in animals, not in humans. That means the results are promising, but we can't assume they'll work exactly the same way in people. More research is needed before we can know for certain. Now as a person who loves to garden, one of the most amazing things about Leaf of Life for me is how easy it is to grow. It does really well in pots, even with very little attention. It loves the sun, but can also handle partial shade. And one of the coolest things about it is that you can take a single leaf and just lay it on top of the soil, then wait a few weeks and tiny baby plants will start to sprout all along the edges. It really seems like magic. I have several Leaf of Life plants and as some of you know, I live in New Jersey where the weather can get very cold in the winter. So I let my Leaf of Life plants live outside in the summer into the early fall. Then as soon as there's a risk of frost, I bring them back inside the house where they can live happily through the winter. Then when the weather gets warm enough in the late spring or early summer, I bring them back outside to enjoy the sun and fresh air again. Now the leaf of life reminds us that nature holds wisdom that modern science is only beginning to understand. If this plant has been part of your family's traditions, or if you're actually growing it now, I'd love to hear if you would share your story in the comments. Let's keep this knowledge alive and growing together. And if this video resonated with you, don't forget to like and subscribe for more stories of health, modern science, and ancestral wisdom. Thank you.